I am the salvation of the people, says the Lord. Should they cry to me in any distress, I will hear them, and I will be their Lord forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. God with your spirit. Good morning, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning, Father. I welcome you all to this Eucharistic celebration. Today we are celebrating the Mass of Thursday in the 25th week in the ordinary time of the Church. In this Mass, we continue to pray for all those who book Mass for the month of September and those who had already booked Mass also for the month of October. That God may grant them all their hard desires through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We also pray in this Mass for all those who Booked Mass today. Dum Tochugu Eze Odele Booked Mass for the month of October to December 2020 for the repose of the soul of his father, Mr. Christopher Efa Ichugu Eze Odele, and for God's blessings and protection on his mother. Mrs. Scholastica Ezordele and all his, all his siblings, also praying for successful wedding ceremony of his brother. Today, the 24th of September 2020, Mr. Christopher Eliakim Chima is thanking God for, the, for adding another year to his life as he marks his birthday today. Shema, Christopher, we wish you happy birthday. As you mark your birthday today, we pray that God Almighty will grant you all your hard desires, bless you with long life and good health, and make you fulfill your destiny here on earth through Jesus Christ our Lord. Chimwendo Okonye is praying in this Mass for a successful surgery upon Ogechi Okori, her sister. Mama Bishop, as this woman is called, is praying for God to fight all those who are troubling her and grant her new appointment in her career, long life, good health, of mind and body. Mr. Joseph Ikechuku Mwafo booked mass 
for God's intervention in his finances and business. Mrs. Odo Ebere, booked mass for the month of October, thanking God for his goodness and mercy upon her family, praying for God's abundant blessings upon her husband, her business, for her business to be successful and for God to grant her children the grace of a vocation in religious life. Miss Ogochuku and Ibunwa is praying in this mass for sick journey in all her travels. Mrs. Amaka Stella is also praying in this mass for the repose of the soul of Jutade Usuke, her father, and for successful funeral when the time comes. Dear friends in Christ, united with these our brothers and sisters who booked Mass in a very special way for today's Midnight Mass, let us ask add our own intentions. Those of us who are following online, you are typing your intentions in the comment box. You cannot type it all. You can simply say, my intentions are in this Mass or my family prayer requests are in this Mass. Our God is a merciful God. He sees everything that happens in our lives. I pray that by the power of this Midnight Mass that He may locate you with answers to your prayers. The God we serve is a, a God that is faithful, a God that answers prayer. He will never fail you. May this Thursday be your day of divine encounter a day of divine favor, a day God will end every story of sorrow and pain in your life. As you join this Midnight Mass today, be rest assured that Midnight Mass will settle the matter. We pray in a very special way in this Mass for Mr. Chidebere from Switzerland, who donated 100,000 for our August, for our September Charity Outreach, which I am going to match together with my Thanksgiving that is coming up on the 4th of October. I pray that God Almighty will bless him and grant him his heart desires, especially for God to reveal those who broke into his account and made away with his money. That God will grant him or grant those who are investigating the matter the wisdom to be able to discover the men or the women who are responsible for this fraudulent act in his life. And I want to use the opportunity to pray that God may give all members, all those following this midnight mass, the wisdom to overcome every prank of the enemy, especially the scammers that are on rampage. Any way they come and, and across you, may they never succeed. I pray for you in this mass. Let us be on our lot because they are on rampage. They can use different ways to come. A lot of them use my name. They will tell you they are Farajukudu with me. Child of God, never you send money or do any transaction with anybody without calling Farachuku Dovi to confirm if the person says it's Farachuku Dovi. Call me on WhatsApp call so that you see my face. Or you call me on call and they rec try to recognize the voice you hear every midnight mass. They are on rampage and a lot of them are saying they are Farachuku Dovi. Never you mind any one of them. I pray that God may save you from the hand of scammers. That God may save you and save your accounts from all their technological wits and the tricks. Any method they want to use to penetrate into your finances. I pray in this matter that God will protect you and protect your finances and protect your family. 
child of God, God is the one who will save us, and that's why we are calling on Him. And I pray for repentance of these people. Because if God, if God be for us, no one can be against us. We pray that God may also arise and arrest them one by one for total repentance. For our God is also a God of mercy. He said, if a sinner repents and believes in the gospel, he will forget his sins. I pray that he may arrest and bring them the grace of conversion. So that this menace they are meting out against people in the world will come to an end. Never you send money to anybody that says for a true or for a benedict without calling to confirm. Call me on the phone. Call me on WhatsApp video if you are outside the country. Call me on WhatsApp video. I will answer. If I do not answer, hold on until I answer. Before one is before arm. And I pray that God will help us in this era of fraudulent rampage in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, dear friends in Christ, to prepare ourselves worthily for this holy celebration, let us now come to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and the mercy. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant us by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. First reading. Oh, 
conformities. You know, will, will there be any remembrance of the taxes yet to happen among those who come after? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
By the hearing of this gospel, may our sins be blotted out. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. My dear friends in Christ, the word vanity which we heard today in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 1 from verse 2 to 11, our first reading, is from the Hebrew word Hebel. Vanity or Hebel indicates fruitlessness, emptiness, and the transitory of what happens here on earth. That everything that happens here is ephemeral and passes away. The preacher or the sage that spoke to us through the book of Ecclesiasticus meditated on the circle of life and the, of nature and they had to exclaim that all things and all these things that happen around us and in the world is vanity. They will all pass away. As Christians, dear friends in Christ, only our lives united with Jesus Christ are not in vain. Once we are in union with Christ, our life will never be in vain. Every other thing shall pass away, but our friendship with Christ, our, our communion, divine union with Him, in prayer, in masses, and so on and so forth, in good living, will never pass away. What we do for the praise and glory of God will be remembered in heaven and for all eternity. We must endeavor the much we can to do the will of God and do that which will give us good name in the kingdom of God, in the eternal life yet to come. In the gospel text today, the works and the deeds of Jesus Christ have come to the attention of Herod, the Tetrarch. He was unsettled and perplexed because some people thought that Jesus was John the Baptist whom he had beheaded. Oftentimes when we commit a whole lot of crime, any little thing that happens, we get unsettled and afraid. But when such a thing happens with children of God, I want you to know that that is an opportunity for you to renew your commitment to God, never to return to such evil again. Herod had a second chance to do the right thing and to, to listen to his conscience and change, but he refused. Instead, he hardened his heart. We too, we often get many chances. We do not always grasp those opportunities that God has given us to listen to our God speaking up to us through the voice of our consciences so that we can change, turn away from evil and do good. We pay deaf ear to them in our daily acts and daily activities. But today we are being invited that when our hearts are unsettled about the sins, about the things we have done wrong, that it is a time to say, Oh Lord, I am sorry I got involved in this. But henceforth, I have decided to follow you all the days of my life. I made that song, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No going back, no going back. May it be our songs all the days of our lives, especially the moments when our conscience break us about our past mistakes and the sins through Jesus Christ, our Lord.
sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith May be there through, may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the two fall, so that they will become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
He took bread and gave it thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God, have mercy on me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your day, O Lord. And profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world. And bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and the Gabriel, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and the sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her Holy Spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father. who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Father. Thy kingdom come. Father. Thy will be done. Father. On earth as in heaven. Give all this day a daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who. Press 
us against us. And lead us not into temptation. Forgive us all our trespasses. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Um, and with your spirit. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus Christ who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
United with our brothers and sisters who are following this Mass online, let us say the art of spiritual communion. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Glory be to Jesus. I want to thank every one of you for your active participation in this Mass today. This Midnight Mass we have celebrated. God is with us in need and God has blessed somebody under the sound of my voice already. Just consider yourself blessed to be part of this past today in Jesus' name. Those who are following the mass online, share the mass now. Try and share, share it, share it wherever you are. And as you share it, I pray that Almighty God will bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Those who have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so. Help us to get to the number of subscri subscribers we need to stream online on YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. I plead with you. Subscribe if you have not. Subscription is free. Our YouTube channel is Chukudiobimi Adoration TV. Chukudiobimi Adoration TV. Subscribe to this YouTube channel, and may God bless you as you do so, in the mighty name of J-E-S-U-S. Jesus. We are drawing to the end of the month of September. It is time to book mass for the month of October. Those who want to book mass for the month of October, or you want to book mass even for the remaining days of the month of September. Send us a message on the Facebook Messenger. Father, I want to book Mass. How do I book Mass for this Midnight Mass? Or you can chat us up on WhatsApp and say, I want to book Mass. The phone number, WhatsApp number is on Facebook there, on this page. The WhatsApp is on the page. Just touch it and it will take you to the WhatsApp immediately. You can send a message that you want to book Mass. And then myself or my secretary will reply you within a short period of time so that you know how to go about it. May God bless you as you continue to key in to our prayers here and as you remember as you remain a family member of this Midnight Mass platform or community through Jesus Christ our Lord. Once again, I want to create this awareness as a scam alert. 
If you are outside Nigeria and the box you receive in your account is email alert, not SMS alert, because you are not using Nigerian number, mobile number again. Make sure every day you open your email to check whether there is alert, uh, uh, debit alert on your email. Your email must be a place you visit often because that is where you use that your alert. This is brother that they took money from his account. He, he was not going into his email frequently and he's outside the country and then they are here in Nigeria withdrawing money from his account and the alert was going to his email, email address but he was not visiting his email until after about 10 days. And the person used 10 days withdrawing the maximum amount for each day for 10 good days. Just calculate what it will give you. It was a huge sum of amount they took from the account before he discovered it. So always go to your email if you are using email alert. Always check your email from time to time so that you know when these hackers have located the account or penetrated your account and started withdrawing money through any fraudulent, fraudulent means or started using your account to make purchases online without you knowing it and the bank is sending you email and you are not aware. Let it be a scam alert and may God bless you as you pay heed to this advice in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And may the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you both now and forever. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go forth in the peace of Christ. We may continue to be aware of your presence through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you very much for your assistance in this Mass.